everybody is so concerned with the amount of stress that they're under. But in, in a lot of ways, people misunderstand stress. There is a point where you're, you're never going to be able to get rid of stress. It will always be there. Now, I don't want that to be, be depressing to you. That's, it's a situation where you have to know the good from the bad, just like anything else. There are good stresses. They, we call them you stresses. And the good stresses are the things that get you motivated, the things that, that promote your body to do something it has to do. It promotes you to have energy, to wake up. It promotes your body to repair if there's damage or injury. So stresses can cause a good response. So many of the stresses that are uh, you're affected by are good stresses, but they're also bad stresses, and they can get to a point where they're destructive. So you want to learn the difference and try to use more of the good stresses. But the word allostasis, we're, we're considering the fact that stress, first of all, is more than just emotional stress. There is absolutely psychosocial stress. You cut off in traffic, problems with family, whatever. There's a lot of, of things that we can attribute to mental stress, and that absolutely interacts with the rest of the body, and mental stress is a problem. But you also have the stress of not enough nutrients, say starvation, the stress of a poor diet where you're not getting nutrients in and you're eating things that stress the body in the wrong way, eating things that cause a, an immune response or some other response in the body that's not wanted or unwarranted, that can create a problem. It can create a large problem. So if you're eating foods that are stressing the body and you're getting this big response where you, you have uh, skin breakouts or headaches or runny nose, allergic response type things, that wasn't a good stress. And it was, it was an inappropriate thing to do to your body. And it's going to cause more and more problems because at some point the body's not going to be able to handle the stress. You're eating sugar all the time. You're stressing the body. You're pushing for a response. That stress response is going to burn out. And you're going to become diabetic. So there are good stresses and bad stresses again. But allostasis is the concept that these stresses push the bodies. And what you have to realize is that your body ad adapts. Your body can adapt in a good way or it can maladapt. It can go the wrong way. You need to start exerting control because you have control. If you just let life happen to you, then you're probably going to get the bad ad adaptations. So allostasis is, a, in a sense, all of the set points in your body. Well, those set points can be made better or worse. The problem is once a set point is set, your body tries to keep it there until you push it. So let's say you, you're not very active, you're not eating very well, your body begins to look at this abnormal <coughs> situation as the normal situation. Now my body's going to think, well, this is the set point where I need to keep things. So your body will actually keep you unhealthy. On the other hand, if I do proper diet, proper training, if I'm taking care of my body, I'm resetting better points. My energy gets better. I can take care of problems much better. I build something called organ reserve. In other words, I become more and more resilient to the effects of stress. Little things don't, don't really bother me. I don't get symptoms. I don't, I don't lose my moods. I don't lose my temper. I don't lose my ability to keep my body in balance with stress because I've got such a huge reserve. My body's working so well. I've adapted it to such a good place that stress doesn't affect me. That's where I want you to go. If I'm going to train somebody to run a race, let's say we're going to train for a marathon, we don't just go out and run the race. If you do, likely you'll be really hurting if you even finish the race. It's, it's possible to do, but it's really ill-advised. If you're going to run a marathon, you prepare step by step. You condition your body so that you can get to the point where you can run that. And anybody can do a marathon if they train for about six months. That's adequate time. doesn't take forever. But if you take it slow and you build step by step, then the race can actually be somewhat enjoyable. It's still an effort, absolutely. You know, running 26 miles is a big thing. And I'm not saying all you have to do is a marathon. This is just an example. But if I'm training to do the marathon, I'm using allostasis. I'm conditioning my body to go a little further and a little further and a little further. I'm conditioning my, my body to work on my feet so I get used to that. My joints get stronger. My cardiovascular system gets stronger. I build endurance. And over time, if I, cor if I condition correctly, when it comes time to do the race, I can flawlessly make it that 26 miles. Yes, there's a point where I have to push myself a little bit, but I'm conditioned for it. The race doesn't take me down. I'm not in, in weeks of recuperation. And there's actually enjoyment to the running of the race because I've prepared for it. That's allostasis. That's the preparation you've got to have for life. You don't have to run a marathon. You still have to 
consider the mechanism of allostasis. If you're not adapting your body in a good way, it's going to tend to adapt in an unhealthy way. And then the next thing you know, you're in this unhealthy state. You're wondering how you got here, and it's really hard to come back because your body now reads all these unhealthy set points as normal. So you're going to have to fight adaptation all the way back to a healthy state. It's so much easier to stay on the healthy side and just keep getting better. So start to look up or read or learn about this concept of allostasis. It's akin to homeostasis, but homeostasis is pretty simplistic. The body is much more complex. A lot more stimuluses and responses going on, a lot more resetting of set points, all these negative feedback loops. There's a lot going on. It's, th it's 3D. There's, there's so much. You just can't draw it out on a piece of paper. It's not just one set point. And again, these set points change all the time. You want to learn how to change them in a good way. You want to learn to use allostasis to your benefit. And you can. But you've got to plan for it. Don't just let life happen to you. Create your life. Create your health. Be happy, be healthy. This is Dr. Vince Balanzi. Learn allostasis. There are over 350 videos on our channel, and I doubt you've seen them all. And the topics range from weight loss, nutrition, sexual health, all the way to psychology and mind control, and anywhere in between. And I think if you check them out, you're going to find some really interesting stuff.